be real with ourselves. I don't like when people or platforms feel like they're too big for the culture. Salute to these two guys, these two gentlemen, Joe Budden of the Joe Budden Podcast and Charlemagne of obviously the Breakfast Club and the Brilliant Is Podcast. So there, those are probably the two podcasts that I listen to. Every now and then I listen to another, you know, a couple podcasts, Seek Through the Cracks. But for the most part, week to week, I listen to Joe's podcast on Spotify and I listen to Charlemagne and, and Schultz's Brilliant Idiots podcast. First off, I want to salute Joe and Charlemagne. They've been able to grow these platforms. I mean, the Breakfast Club is the biggest thing we got in the culture. And what Joe is doing with hip hop podcasts, we've never seen it done before. So salute to both of them. That's why I tune in. I love it. I love the content for different reasons. But two sentiments that I've seen both these men try to get away with over the last few weeks, Joe podcast over the last couple uh, episodes, and Charlamagne, I think he said this a couple weeks ago, I ain't letting nobody get away with lies, though. I ain't letting nobody, I don't care who you is, I'm not letting anyone get away with lies. I've listened to Charlamagne kind of ask, why would people talk about Takashi 6 9 situation in regards to media outlets and bloggers, right? Why would people discuss... Takashi's outlet. And I'm just sitting around thinking to myself, yo, fam, I've listened to multiple episodes of the Brilliant Idiots podcast. We all talked about Takashi for 30, 40 minute segments. What? I think one time Charlemagne said if Takashi gets out of jail, that he'd give him head. Like, I think that really happened, if I'm not mistaken. Like, fam, my point in all this is. Yes, our media outlets eating off the Takashi 6ix9ine situation, 100%. But don't act like y'all are above talking about it on y'all. Like, when y'all talk about it, it doesn't count. Because y'all doing the same thing. Joe's podcast. Salute to Joe. Joe and Ma were complaining about how the media is covering Takashi 6 9s case, right? He's saying, why are people talking about it? As they talk about it for like 50 minutes, I'm listening to the podcast. Like, Maul's complaining about people talking about this, and y- they keep using the word bloggers talking about it. Yo, yo y'all complaining as y'all talk about this for content. It's only like a three-hour podcast or a two-hour podcast. Y'all talked about Takashi 6 9 for half the podcast. So who are y'all to complain and call out other media outlets for talking about Takashi 6 9 as he's agreed to testify? Y'all making jokes, too, about the case. And, and, and we need to talk about this, right? This go for Joe, Charlemagne, and anybody else in the culture. Number one, you're not too big. Just because your platform is super big, you still count as media. You, like, when y'all do stuff, it still counts. It probably should count even more in this regard. I'm a journalist. I went to school at UT. I'm, I've studied journalism. I've, I've worked at local news outlets. I worked at ESPN. I worked my way up. I know journalism. I studied it. The fact that y'all are trying to separate y'all podcast and your radio show from bloggers baffles my mind. Because y'all both are smart. Everybody, Maul, Joe, Charlamagne, all y'all, y'all smart. Rory, Schultz, y'all are all smart enough to understand the concept of people categorize media as media, right? So just because y'all have a podcast and y'all set off the disclaimer that y'all are not giving out reports, y'all just talking about the news, people look at what y'all say as news, as facts. I'm not saying that's right or wrong, but that's the reality of the situation. People come to y'all podcast to recap the news that has happened in the last week or whenever you guys drop in a three to four day span for the Joe Blunt podcast. So stop acting like this something else. Stop it. Like y'all above saying people talking about Takashi Nine. Because what did both of these platforms do last week on the, or the last episode on their on their shows? Y'all both talked about Takashi Six Nine on in, in on front of that uh in front of the, the stands snitching on a nine tray game. Both y'all did. And Charlemagne, you work with the Breakfast Club. You're at one third of the Breakfast Club. When Ye does her rumor report. You can't remove yourself from that. That's You can't just say that G's room report. She represents one third of the Breakfast Club. Y'all are a collective. So anything, any topic she brings up, you're accountable for that too. That's your show. Like fam, that's your show. Mom, family, and Joe on the Joe Budden podcast. Family, 
Y'all talking about something for an hour is just like people making memes. On so y'all are the number y'all doing over a million views a week. I know for sure y'all popping y'all. I'm happy for y'all. But y'all y'all reaching millions of people talking about this same content that y'all calling people out for talking about it on. That doesn't make any sense to me. I am not saying don't talk about Takashi. I'd be a hypocrite then. I did it a, like a thousand and four times in the last week. Y'all want me to be real or fake about it? It's great content. Everybody's tuned in. Everybody's on their computer typing in Takashi 69. I look at it like when my girlfriend is talking about something, I know it's great content because she don't live in a hip hop world like that. When she's talking about it, when she's asking me questions about it, I know everybody's talking about it, right? But just don't act like you above it though because y'all doing it. Every platform is doing it. But y'all are still a part of the culture. Y'all count too. When y'all talk about it for, y'all just, we just can't ignore y'all talking about it on y'all platforms for 30 minutes to an hour long segment. And y'all reach way more people than a lot of us do. And I reach a lot of people. But compared to you guys, come on, bruh. I just want y'all to be real. I want to stand up for some of the smaller outlets out there. I can actually reach people, right? My videos do good numbers. Y'all acting like y'all different from anybody else. Y'all know people, normal people who work nine to fives, who ain't, who don't, who don't understand the, the media terms. They bunch all us up into one group, bruh. So don't act like just because you're, you're, you're Joe or you're Charlemagne or you're Maul, by the way, that you're any bigger. I, again, I'm going to continue to listen to both of y'all platforms. I'm only talking about this from a passionate standpoint because I enjoy both of these podcasts thoroughly. But don't act like y'all bigger than. That ain't it, bruh. Because y'all talk about it just as much, if not more, than other platforms. I'm sitting there listening to y'all talk about Jim Jones, Joe's podcast, Jim Jones on a wiretap. Y'all talking about that. What makes y'all different from anybody else? A reporter, a, a blogger, what, what? People treat y'all the same. I came from nothing, but I want everything God has for me. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I still represent the culture. I got the kids. They tuned in. Tuned in. We locked in right now, Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Shout out to Mr. Telefair. You watching Mr. Telefair TV. Mr. Telefair TV.